Hey friends and family, welcome to Marcy Creates. This is Marcy, and I have something a little special for you tonight. Uh, I wanted to show you the projects I've been working on from the Jesse James Beads Summer Camp 2022. Now this is the third year they've done at summer camp. Um, it became a necessity out of COVID, but it became so wildly popular that they're gonna continue to do it. And I just want you to know how much fun it is if you can ever, ever do one, I would recommend it highly. Um, they're a little over $200. They do offer some discounts at some points. And I know, I think this last time they allowed people to break up their payments in three. Uh, so I know that's a staggering price for a lot of people. But I will tell you that for that, you get incredible products you're gonna see in a minute. You learn from incredible jewelry designers. 10 classes I took this last uh, a week ago, week and a half ago. Um, the classes are all on a special Facebook group that you're invited to, that you can access anytime you want. They film the classes. And for those of you who sign up for the camp, you have access to those videos forever. So you can go back, whoops, losing my lights again. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my lights, guys. Hang on one second. It's like I don't have them sturdy. Okay, so as I was saying, you can get to those videos anytime you want and replay them. And what I do and what they recommend doing is watch the project, uh, watch the person making the project. You know, you can make comments, you can actually ask questions while they're teaching. And for those of you who have day jobs like I do, um, I didn't take off this time. I did last summer, I took the week off. I didn't this time around, um, so I had to do the replays, which was fine. I could still make comments and ask questions, and the, if you, as long as you tag the instructors, they'll answer you know your questions. And you're learning from people like Neelay Patel and Jem Hawks and Brittany Shavers from Turquoise Street, Wendy, Wendy Whitman, um, Tierra Cast. Uh, that's Tracy Proctor, Meredith Roddy, who, and Danielle Wicks, who are fabulous with seed beads. We had uh, Cindy Holt, who did a fabulous job with, we learned polymer clay. I'm going to show you those projects. Uh, just a whole bunch of projects. I know I'm missing some people. So then when you're done with the projects and you, you put them on their um the Facebook group, you post them, you get camp badges. So I've been working towards my badges. I think you have till the 13th of September. So I'm in, you'll see I'm in different varying stages, but I wanted to show you the projects. So let me get started. So I'm doing a lot of yapping. So I'm not gonna do these in any particular order. Uh, so like I said, some of them are finished or not, but I'll talk about them. So this is one of the projects we did. It is a gorgeous, seed bead project. Danielle Wicks taught this one. And you've got this gorgeous, this, all of these products you're seeing came in our little camp kit. And when I say little, it wasn't little, it's a heavy FedEx box. And we had a beautiful tie dye backpack or a little pack that it came in that you can use forever and ever. But it, look at this uh, clasp. It's a, the fish, this is called salmon run. That was the name of the project. And the hook goes in there. And then she taught this bubble technique with the seed beads. So you're using number eight, number 11, and number six seed beads. And it looks like running water. And then this adorable check with the Picasso finished bear. So you got the bear, the salmon, and it looks like water. And you can use this technique now that I've learned the cool thing about the camp is now I've learned this technique, you can do so much with this technique. I'm going to be using this for sure in some tutorials on, you know, I'm going to take this technique and do some other things with it. So be stay tuned for that. Um, but that's what I love about this camp, these camps is you learn from them and they also encourage you if you, you're going to hear me say, this is not exactly the project because you can take their ideas and run with them and go in another direction if you want. So having said that, so this is another project. This was Tracy Proctor. 
Um, these are tear cast findings. And this is a tassel earring. She had put gemstones at the bottom. I used some charms and beads that came in another kit. I mean, that uh, that came in the summer kit. But I, you know, like I said, it's encouraged to change it up. And I just thought with the turquoise and the star, it would look more uh, Southwestern. She put um, some really pretty uh, peridot chips and rose quartz. So that's these earrings, they're super long. And we got the all the leather and the wire and the charms and the, and the chain all came in the box with, I mean, the summer box. So that's our earrings. And these were super fun and easy to make. And this just clamps down. This is a great, I need to get more of these. They come in other finishes. We did some wire wrapping. And if you like long boho earrings, there you go. So these were really fun to make. So that's the other, so these are finished. Now I have this one. This is a seed bead project. Meredith Roddy always does a seed bead project. And I've always said I'm a stringer, not a weaver, but I'm really learning a lot from her. Now this is not the same colorway that we had in camp. In camp, she's got beautiful oranges and browns and uh, golds. And the reason I changed, and I haven't finished it yet, there needs to be seed beads on the inside of this. So I'm partway through this, but the earring piece is gonna go right here. And I will show this when it's finished. But the reason I picked these colors is because I'm taking a trip uh, in the fall to Michigan to visit family. And I wanted something to match this really pretty top. I'm just gonna show you a little bit of the top. This is the top, um, the top of the top. <laughs> but I wanted something to match, so check that out. So I did blues and some, so it's all seed beads and you learn how to make these little triangular looking things. It's all with fire line, um, what's that stuff called? Fire, fire something, fire line. This is kind of a bronze fire line and crystals, bicones, and then seed beads. And this is a quick link. We had a lot of projects with quick links so this is the front. You could do either way, but I, I like that texture in the front on the, but that, doesn't that look complicated? And it's not. So boy, and I was thinking a pendant for a necklace and dangle a bead in the middle would be pretty. So you may see that show up in some of my designs, but this is the kind of thing that you learn. So yeah, so I did a different colorway so I could have some earrings to go with my my top in case I know I'm probably going to go out to dinner a few places. So I wanted to be fancy. And then, uh, we learned how to make some other earrings. Jem Hawks, who is like the, the amazing wire artist extravaganza. First of all, she's got the most beautiful English accent and she's so funny. If you've ever watched Jem, you know what I'm talking about. And I changed up the beads, but we learned how to wrap these little uh, polished, these are really tiny polished crystals all the way around a quick link. And then we made a little dangle. I did finish this pair. I think this was the first class that we had. And then um, there was a strand of beads that came with this and you could really pick anything. So I picked some flutterbys and I did a little complimentary color action with our orange and our blue and some spirals down at the bottom. So that was another project that we learned also from Gem Hawks. And I just finished this the other day. Um, I'm not, I don't know. I don't know if I'm happy with it or not, <laughs> but we, she taught the tree of life uh, pendant. So we did this tree of life pendant. I added the swirls um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them or not. Like I said, I'm still kind of playing with it, but we made the round piece and then she taught us how to wrap the, this is 26 gauge wire. And then we used the rest of the rose quartz and the peridot. And I ran out of the peridot. I didn't really get too many. I'm not sure. And the ones I got were real tiny. So I added some adventuring also. 
but they, they encourage you, like I said, to make it your own. So this, this was like the last couple of days I've been working on this. Uh, and this is my first attempt at a um, tree of life. If you've done a tree of life, let me know. I'd love, yeah, I'd love to see it. You know, if you want to show us a picture in the Facebook group, um, as you know, I have that Facebook group, Marcy Creates. Those of you who have joined, join us. Um, show us if you've done one. All right, let's see. So Brittany, Brittany did a really, Brittany does really great. First of all, I'm a big fan of Brittany Shavers. Um, I subscribe to her channel, which is Turquoise Street. And she's wildly popular, as you know. I'm sure you all have heard of her. And she has just a really beautiful aesthetic. And I love, I love how she puts things together. So uh, she's my muse, I tell her. Um, but she did a really cool boho necklace that I need to finish, but I'm just gonna add some leather, but this is the piece that she taught us. And so you've got these really fun, of course they've got the, she used these soldered jump rings, which were fun, they add a lot of texture, this gorgeous Tibetan bead, and then she showed us how to make this pendant. We used another quick link. You can do a lot with quick links, as you can see. Um, one of the reasons why I didn't finish is I have the textured part showing on one side and I did the smooth side on the other, so I need to fix that. Uh, but I'll finish, I'll unstring that and finish it. But I love the, I love the look. I love it. And I have more beads left over so I can finish. You can bead all the way up if you want or add leather. Again, this is a project where you can follow hers exactly or you know you can do your own thing i didn't really string everything the way that she did uh, i kind of took liberty with that and but like i said that's encouraged they love to see when you take off on a project and go your own way so that was Brittany's class and i also wanted to show you uh something that she made that i love that i, that I made a necklace of this wasn't in the camp but I did buy this from her because she made, she does a lot of polymer clay and she made this polymer clay Zuni bear, which I love. It's got the, looks like the Aurora Borealis, very Southwestern. And I made a necklace. Uh, I found these beads right after I bought that. These are from, uh, these came from Etsy. Uh, I can't think of the name of the shop, but I will put it in my description. And they match this perfectly. So when I bought these beads, I messaged her and I said, look at the, how well these beads go with your pendant. And the next thing I knew, she had purchased some and did a whole bead haul video. And it was really great. And she gave me a very nice shout out on her channel, which was really cool. But yeah, I just made like a, you know, I picked up the turquoise, the dark turquoise. This is a really pretty pottery bead I had hand painted um, just in a mix that I got, I think somewhere, I don't know if you know, remember where. And then these really cool coin beads, uh, I think I bought on Etsy. So it all came together. This is not, like I said, the one of the camp projects, but I just wanted to show you where you can go with polymer clay because I am gonna show you some polymer clay pieces um, that we did make in camp. But anyway, that that's a Brittany Shavers, or I say Shavers, I guess it's Shavers. Sorry, Brittany. <laughs> anyway, beautiful pendant. And um, sometimes she sells those. So if you don't subscribe to her, I bet you are subscribed to her. Like I said, she's got, I don't know, 14,000 subscribers. <laughs> she's very wildly popular. Not to be out done by Miss uh, Wendy Whitman, who I, I also like to watch. And she's very, very talented also and a sweetheart. And she did a really cool project with Sari fabric. So this is the fabric that we got. And this, I changed up her design quite a bit. Uh, no, no offense to her, I just wanted in a different direction. Uh, but check out this little camper bead. That's, they do make special things like this for camp. Isn't that adorable? And then I just, there's like such a cute mix. Did a little seed bead action. And uh, then I made, there, she had paperclip chain mixed with this. 
I made dangles out of it and used up a bunch of extra beads. I added a little evil eye bead that I had and just some crystals, but this is super fun. Yeah, I liked her project a lot. I just, like I said, I, I decided to go in a different direction. So that tends to happen with me when I, when there's a stringing project. Uh, if I don't know what I'm doing, I'll, you know, and I'm learning the technique for the first time, I'll probably follow it exactly. Um, but once I've done one, like I've never done this before, so I followed this exactly. But now that I've done this, uh, and I've learned this technique of beading around these beads, let me tell you, it's off to the races. And that's what's so great about the camps. So this was Miss Wendy Whitman. Her class was fun. She's a sweetheart, like I said. I like her channel. Um, and her and she and Brittany both inspired me to start my own channel. So I really, they're very, they have a very special place to me. Uh, and then if you're familiar with Silver Silk, Neelay Patel did a class and I hope I can get this untangled because I did something totally different <laughs> from his project. But um, he makes this really cool uh, captured chain and he also has something called pipe chain. So we got pipe chain in the kit and he did like a really cute, they were calling it a sport sock bracelet. Well, I don't wear a lot of bracelets. Um, so I kind of went, like I said, in another direction and I did a three tiered necklace in the rainbow because we had the crystals, the heishi beads and the crystals. And then this is his pipe chain, which you can put wire through or stringing material. You can cut it into different shape, you know, different lengths and do all kinds of really fun things. So I did a really cute three tiered necklace and I had some left over. So I'm still working on some earrings. Uh, I'm going to do a little tassel, I think. I, I'd love to find a rainbow tassel, but I don't have any. I'm going to, I'm on the hunt on Etsy for a rainbow tassel to add to these. And uh, so I made little earrings, but these look like little, remember the sport socks like in the seventies that had the, have the colors. That's what <laughs> they were calling it. The sport sock mix. And then um, this I think comes in other colors too. You have to check out silver silk and that's Neely Patel. And I, I he is such a sweetheart. Um, one of the fun things that they also do is a little happy hour where you can get on zoom and talk to everybody the other campers, Sarah James, and you know, a lot of the instructors are on there and you can have tea or you can drink a, you know, a cocktail. Um, and there's a clean crafted wine that you can order if you want, uh, and just hang out and talk to everybody. And you can be making projects while you're talking to everybody and everybody holds up what they're making. It's super fun. And, oh, I forgot too. You also get a camp buddy. And you can chat with your camp buddy and you're supposed to exchange a piece of jewelry at the end of camp. So um, that's always super fun also. So it, it kind of enhances the camp experience. And last, oh no, we, let's see, how many projects is that? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, okay. The only one I haven't done yet, and I'll talk about that last, um, is I got one more class I got to watch. I started to watch it and like, you know, as you all know, if you saw my messages, I was kind of under the weather this week. I fell asleep while I was watching it and that's nothing against the instructor. I just wasn't feeling well. So um, I have to go back and rewatch that. And that's the beauty of those classes. You can rewatch as many times as possible. And if you're still confused, you can still um, like tag that instructor and they will answer you. So this is the polymer clay class. And I, I think they've created a monster. So this, it, these pieces are what I made. They sent us the clay and they sent us this really cool gold, um, papery stuff that you can make. So I made the beads. I made this drop right here 
and I textured it and added some of that gold stuff. That gold stuff is addicting. And then they had a mix that they put with it and I made it a whole necklace. I don't have a clasp on it yet, uh, but I did a little bit of seed bead action to pick up the colors. And I just love the moody purples and deep blues. It's got a little heart. And yeah, this was a lot of fun. And you just bake it in your oven. It's super easy to use. So we'll be doing some projects um, definitely with polymer clay because that can take your jewelry making really to a whole new level. I mean, you can do all kinds of really cool techniques. And Cindy Holt, she's all over YouTube. Um, and she spells her name S-Y-N... D E E, I believe. Um, Holt, H O L T. Uh, but man, she was really interesting to, to take a class from. And then, and you get a ton of, I still have clay left, you guys. I didn't even finish everything. So this is another one I made. And I did a pendant with a heart. I don't know if you can see that heart. I just, I did like lots of twisting. We had two uh, colors of clay. We had a dark blue and a light blue. And then um, I used more beads that were in the mixes. Uh, some of these actually were in other, you can, you can play around with the beads that you get. You don't have to use them for the actual project that they came in. I think some of these were from Brittany's class. And then I made some round ones and then I tried to make some flowery ones that didn't really turn out too good. Got to work on that technique, but um, really fun. You can do so much with it and uh, it's really lightweight, uh, so it's not heavy. And uh, as you can see, I loved how the beads, these beads picked up the the swirly idea in the in the clay. It's just fun to play with clay. I mean, I, I haven't touched clay in years and I just, I felt like a little kid again. It was super fun. Uh, and then I did another one. Like I said, I, I've done three necklaces and I still have beads left over. This one's probably, I don't know. I, I hate to say, it's like it's like saying you're, you have a favorite child. I like this too. Uh, and I added bigger beads in this one. This is another big pendant I made. I love that gold stuff. Like I said, this one, I kind of tried to make a very textured bead. And then these are just round beads I made with my hand. I didn't use anything fancy, just rolled them in my hands. I made some bigger ones, medium sized ones, and I kind of graduated up the necklace that way. And then I interspersed with crystals. And then again, I used some seed beads. I just have to put a clasp on them. I haven't decided what kind of clasp I want yet. But I do really just love the blues and the gold. Um, I think it just really is very regal and striking looking, but also kind of boho. Kind of boho. But um, super fun, you guys. I just absolutely had a blast with the clay. And so this is the kind of stuff you can learn at camp. Now, the only class I have not done yet, but I... I will show you what we got. So you can be looking, oh, and I will of course show you once I make whatever it is we're making. Uh, so two cool things was I had never really done polymer clay ever. So new technique. And then this is called impress art. I don't know if any of you have done any metal stamping. Let me move some of this stuff over. But this is metal stamping. And this came in our, I mean, this, these kits are not cheap. And this came in our, our class. So you got, first of all, you have instructions. Oh, we're going to, you can do constellations. That's what it is. And it's, you know, lots of instructions and you have little templates. If you want to do your, your Zodiac sign. And then you get the hammer, which this is super heavy, but it's ergonomic. It feels really good in your hands. And then blanks, or not blanks, but the actual pendants. You got three or several of those. Some stamping pads so that you don't mess up your 
uh, surface. I think this is to practice on. You just peel some of this stuff off and then you practice. And then stamp enamel if you want to put some kind of finish on it. Let's see, these are the stamps. These are pretty heavy. Yeah, that box that came was super heavy. <laughs> um, so these are the actual stamps that you use to put the marks in the little sun. Those are neat. And you can buy all kinds of these to stamp the metal. Again, I've never done metal stamping, so I'm excited to learn. And there's some enamel if you wanna put a patina, and then a little cloth, and another chain. So that's the class I still have to take, so stay tuned for that. I have not, uh, I've watched part of it, and it's, it looks uh, uh, it looks like so much fun. I can't wait. So this class is the one I have left to do. Um, and I want all my badges, so I'm going to try to get everything done. And then, of course, I will post everything in the Facebook group. And I will also be posting, you know, on Instagram and just anywhere and everywhere I can. Because you have to post them so you can get your badges. So that is the stamp and it comes in this nice box. So that is summer camp with Jesse James Beads. Isn't that amazing? I, it is worth it. It is worth the money if you can do it. I know it's expensive. It's not cheap, but um, I don't think you can get 10, 10 classes with 10 instructors in all these materials to, in today's day and age. Um, like, I don't know, that would be way more money other places, I think. And the variety of projects and the expertise that you're learning from, I mean, I've never been able to do seed beads. And I, Meredith, between Meredith Roddy and um, Danielle Wicks, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm enjoying some seed beads. So it is a great, great class. Uh, Jem... She is lovely. You learned so much from her. Neele has just, I mean, I love, I love this uh, pipe chain. I want more of it in other colors. And uh, it's just a total blast. So I recommend it highly. I know they're gonna be doing a winter workshop, very similar to summer camp. It'll be more winter. I know last year I did one. We did um, Christmas ornaments and more wire work more seed bead work, uh, stringing. So it's just a good time. And I can go back to those videos whenever I want to and re relearn if I've forgotten something or redo and ask questions. It's fun to see what everybody does with their projects. Uh, you just can't, you just can't not be inspired when you see every but what everybody does every everybody kind of takes it in their own direction which is encouraged like i said so that is summer camp i definitely wanted to show you that and um i have some other things to show you uh product wise from jesse james beads i got i think i had alluded to this the other night when i did my my uh, product reveal. I have another little product reveal for you. So let me just move some of this stuff. And as I finish these, um, I'll post them. Most of them, I mean, they're so close to being done, but uh, I'm just kind of at some stopping points and have to just finish. Yeah, uh, this past week was a little bit of a challenge, you know, as you know, for those of you who don't know, I had a little bit of a health situation. Um, I'm all better. And then I kind of injured my shoulder, which wasn't great. But um, my dad told me to use some Salon Pass. Do you ever use that? That stuff is magical. So I'm just saying. I'm not getting paid by them by any means. I'm just telling you, if you have an achy anything, get you some Salon Pass. They're little patches. Man, those things are magic. So I'm on the mend. So 
this is a little bit different evening, I know, than what you're used to. Uh, but I did have so much to show you. So this product I'm gonna show you now came to me from Jesse James Beads. There is a really pretty bead mix. Um, and some more products. So I wanted to show you those real fast. And um, they're having us do an ambassador challenge. I, if you don't know, I'm a design ambassador for Jesse James Beads, so they have my some of my stuff on their website. But this is, they send me product to show you and share with you. And these are all available on their website and I will link them. This is just some really pretty, I think they're feathered tassels. Um, so I'll pull these out. You can take a look at them. What did I do with my trays? Here we go. I love these feathers. I don't know if these are pheasant feathers. I'm not really sure, but I love the design and the texture in those. Don't those just scream fall? So I'm really looking forward to that using those. And um, and then some more of this gorgeous chain that I showed you the other night. I got more of that and a gorgeous clasp. This is a nice big clasp. I would ha I would definitely want to hang this in the front of something. Uh, and do some dangles and it just opens I think you just yeah you press it that way really cool I like the design on it uh, so we're head getting some fall things and then this guy is a mini mix called Bing Cherry get my plate here. Bing Cherry. And it has a lot. I'll link this also. So I have to make the, the rules there. I have to make something. Let's see. I have to create and post something on my social media with these items between August 29th and September 8th. And I'll probably do a video because they said you could do a video. And um, we're just gonna explore the possibilities of what you can do with with one of their mixes and a few of their items. Uh, that's the challenge, which I'm up to that challenge. And uh, I love this deep red. So let's take a look at some of this. First of all, we've got gorgeous filigree hearts. I love those. I love the shape and I love the all that beautiful scrolling in there. And then if that weren't enough, we've got these nice squash looking textured rondelles. Yep. And then these are neat too. These are kind of some some more spacer beads with rhinestones in them. Kind of a barrel shape. And this is the, that's the top. Be great on some leather. I think you get some leather through there. And then look at the deep red of that. That's just a deep garnet color. I just love it. So, so, so pretty. Some drops in clear, like a clear uh, crystal, but you also have some opaque, which I love. So some beautiful drops. And then we have some of these roses, the carved roses, absolutely gorgeous. Love using those. Some more opaque rondelles. And that deep red. It's kind of a blue red. Uh, these are interesting. 
They're kind of like pinch beads. Um, they're not quite round, but they're not quite triangular. They're kind of both. And kind of a clear. I think these are the English cut. There's more, more of those tubes. Oh, you get four of those. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, a couple of these guys. I like this shape, whatever it is. I think this looks like the English cut. I could be wrong. But I love the facets. So more crystals, more crystals, more crystals. Some adorable little flowers. These are really cute. Kind of clear. Some deep purpley red little tassels. I love tassels. And you get more than those. Let's see. Running out of trays. I love these. They look like little tutus. <laughs> like a, a little fairy dress. I have to explore the idea of making a little fairy beaded thing. You can make little people. I've seen it lots of places. I just haven't really played with that idea, but that would be very cute. Some pearls. Also in a very beautiful deep red garnet color. More little rondelles. They really do put a lot in these mini mixes, I have to tell you. Lots of bead caps. Several different kinds, which I appreciate. So you got lots of bead caps, two kinds. And if that, whoops, if that weren't enough, you also have some of these rhinestone rondelles. Adorable. You see what I'm saving for last. I love that. We're going to get to that in a minute. <laughs> Little tiny square beads with rounded corners and some really tiny, I would say these are probably three millimeter um, deep red rondelles. They have a little bit of a silvery finish to them. So in one angle, it looks silvery and another angle, it looks like that deep berry. Bing Cherry, that's aptly named, I think. Absolutely love their mini mixes. And with chain and a clasp, pretty amazing. And the last, but not certainly not least, is this adorable, can't wait to use it, owl. Is he adorable? You could put little tiny crystals in his eyes right there. Isn't he cute? So you know I have to play with uh, such a monochromatic palette. You, you know, with the color theory we've been doing. Uh, so I'm just going to give you a little sneak peek of just the beginning of my wheels turning on this. You know, since it is a challenge. Um, I haven't done anything with these. I'm just pulling, pulling things for ideas out of my stash to add to this. So I have this nice big deep red tassel I may use. And I also have Sari fabric with a little bit of purple in it. Look at that. So we know what that does on the color wheel. We've got some fuchsia, some purple. Looks like some analogous colors there. But then I thought too, wouldn't it be great to pull in some blue green Check that out. These are some blue-green sea beads I have that I could mix in with this 
in some way. So, you know, you did, did you think we were going to do a video without some color theory? <laughs> Guess again. Yeah, but this is the way my brain works. So here's my, here's my challenge pieces, right? And this gives you a little nod towards some analogous colors because that's purple. It's like a red purple. And then these, like I said, this red has a lot of blue in it. You know how you can tell this, some reds are very orangey red. They're more on the orange side. This is definitely towards a cooler, you know, if you were to mix a tiny bit of blue in with red, you would get this deep red. Um, so that's what kind of told me to go uh, in this direction with the analogous, you know, sometimes you get little hints. This was a hint. And uh, I'm gonna, I may add some more. And then, then when you add the turquoise, or blue green, that just makes it sing. Because green is opposite of red on the color wheel. So the blue green is gonna go, even though it's not true green, it's got enough green in it um, on the color wheel, this blue green, that you can get away with it. And how do you know you can get away with it? Well, just take a look. If your eye likes it, it's got to be good, right? So how about them apples? How about that combo platter? So stay tuned for that. Uh, that's coming up, and I'll probably do a tutorial uh, using some of this stuff for the design challenge. And you will see more finished items from summer camp when I get them done. Uh, not this week, but next week, uh, I'm going to be calling finished jewelry week. We're going to do a week of finished jewelry videos. I have so much finished jewelry to show you. And of course we'll still do tutorials and whatnot, but I have got to show you all the stuff I've made with some of these boxes. It's crazy. And I haven't done a finished jewelry video in, until today which these aren't all finished, but uh, in quite a while. So be stay tuning for that. And for those of you who reached out to me and told me I hope you, I feel better, thank you so much. You guys are just so sweet. Um, I hope you have a wonderful week coming up and uh, be looking for Tutorial Tuesday. Um, we may play with this, we may not. Um, I think I have to do this between certain dates think actually August 29th. So yeah, maybe not this week, but next week we'll do a tutorial on these because I want to make sure I do the right date. Um, and then uh, I do have this really, f the really fun stuff I showed you. Well, that's what we're going to do Tuesday night. Never mind. Let me switch gears real fast. Tuesday night is going to be this fun strand from Jesse James Beads that I showed you last night or yesterday. I've already started pulling a few things to play with it. Um, I think we'll do some very fun, colorful things. I'm not sure what we'll do with it yet. Maybe some earrings. And I've already pulled some things because I have an idea from one of these summer projects, summer camp projects, uh, in using these guys. So stay tuned for that. That'll be Tuesday. Um, and if I can't get it uploaded Tuesday, it'll be Wednesday. <laughs> Sometimes uploading these videos is very, huh, it's not for the faint of heart. Let's put it that way. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for your lovely comments. I, uh, really appreciate it. Uh, do let people know about my channel if you think they would like it. If you've never subscribed, I'd love to have you. Please subscribe. Uh, does something for an algorithm of some kind, tells people, tells the YouTube you like my content or whatever, and it helps me stay around. So thanks so much. Take care of yourselves and your sweet families. I hope that everybody is doing well, and I will see you on the next video.